Hello, this is Kim. Welcome to Do You Think You're Smarter Than a Falcon Student? And we have Kendall. Kendall today. So the first question is, what do you think gluconeogenesis is? Can you, wait, gluco what? Gluconeogenesis. Oh boy, something that has to do with uh, m- medical? It's probably a sugar of some kind. No idea. I think that it's a word mm-hmm. that has something to do with glucose and the genesis of the cells. Mm. False. Gluconeogenesis is a metabolic pathway that generates glucose from non-carbohydrate substrates like lactose. Uh, Many organs, like the brain, depend solely on glucose for energy, so it's really important for the body to be able to produce glucose even when carbohydrates are unavailable. Um, To put it simply, gluconeogenesis is kind of like glycolysis backwards, but with a few tweaks here and there. What do you think pyruvate carboxylase is, and what does it do? Pyruvate... Could you repeat what the word is? Pyruvate carboxylase. Pyruvate carboxylates. So I think pyruvate carboxylates is like another sugar and it's carbonized. It is. And what does it do? Um, what? Pyruvate carboxylates. Pyruvate carboxylates. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> Literally no idea. Um, I think it's a disease that kills you. I have no idea. Any guess? <laughs> Pyruvate carboxylase is one of the tweaks I mentioned earlier in glycolysis being backwards. Um, using a biotin and carbon dioxide complex, pyruvate carboxylase is due to the, used in the mitochondrial matrix to carboxylate pyruvate and to make oxaloacetate, which is also an intermediate of the Krebs cycle. The reaction requires one ATP to be used, which creates an ADP as an additional product. Substrates such as acetyl-CoA and ATP are activators of the reaction, while a large concentration of oxaloacetate will slow the process. What do you think happens if there is a deficiency of pyruvate carboxylase in your body? Uh, I have no idea. Oh man, I think that would be a very unfortunate situation. <laughs> and. Uh, and uh, yeah, no idea. Um, I it would be a bad thing, and you wouldn't be able. You would be very tired. We die. That's it. Yes. <laughs> Three types of pyruvate carboxylase. There's type A, B, and C. Type A is going to be the most common in North America, so it's the one we're most familiar with. Um, and symptoms such as developmental delay and lactic acidosis begin during infancy. Um, Increased acidity in the blood can lead to vomiting, abdominal pain, extreme tiredness, muscle weakness, and difficulty breathing. Life B is the life-threatening immediately after birth and is most re- mostly reported in Europe. Um, effective individuals have se- severe lactic acidosis, a buildup of ammonia, in the blood and liver failure. They experience neurological problems, including weak muscle tone, abdominal movements, seizures, and even coma sometimes. And finally, type C is the least severe case of pyruvate carboxylase deficiency. There are only slightly increased levels of lactic acid in the blood and minimal signs of symptoms affecting the nervous system. (laughs) All right, can you tell me what it means for a disease to have autosomal recessive inheritance? Your cells don't work in the immune system. Mm, no, honestly, I can't. Um, it inherits something um, that I'm assuming could be good in some situations and not good in others. Autosomal recessive. That means it's not sex linked and the disease occurs when you have two recessive genes. For a disease to have incessant. That means that the disease is not inherited, then you can't get it through the family. Absolutely. Wrong. Proved over and over again. Wrong. The actual- Wrong. Pyruvate carboxylase deficiency is an autosomal recessive inherited trait, which means the mother and the father must pass a recessive allele. That will then be expressed in the individual. If you were a doctor and your patient came in and said they had a deficiency in pyruvate carboxylase, what symptoms would you look for and how would you treat it? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Am I really a doctor? <laughs> no, I...
Um, I would first ask, how do you know that? And stop getting on WebMD. Um, and they probably just have the flu. But um, I would test them. I would test their, their blood levels. And uh, they'd already be dead if I was their doctor. So. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I would want to tell the patient to maintain the diet that is low in fat and high in carbs so that there's plenty of substrates to be used for glycolysis. In less severe cases though, taking a biotin supplement will increase the activity of pyruvate carboxylase. And lastly, if someone that had a pyruvate carboxylase deficiency decided to have a child, I would definitely recommend genetic counseling if I were the doctor. And lastly, sir, what is your major? I'm actually studying accounting. Animal science. Accounting. Civil engineering. Communication. I'm a finance major. Oh. It's biochemistry. Do you know what it is for sure? I'm never sure. <laughs>